sat in my office one night while somewhere out of sight, someone up the street played a saxophone. My door slowly creaked open, and a dame stood there moping. She looked like a milkshake coat and delicate stacks of bone. Actually, her looks were just a perk. I seriously needed work to pay off some gambling debts I was owing. As I stubbed out my ash, she threw down a bag full of cash, while through the smoke that saxophone just kept blowing. I said, have a seat by my desk. If you're wondering, then yes. I'm for hire as a private detective. She said, my name's Valencia. I'm one of the intelligentsia, and I pick you because I'm highly selective. <laughs> There's a man you must find, a criminal mastermind, known as the Black Postman for all the black mail he's been sending. <laughs> I said, lady, I've been through all this. Maybe let's just cut to the twist. You're really him, so why wait till the ending? <laughs> he said, you're a smart private dick, but I'm hip to your trick. You're really her, so cut out the pretending. <laughs> Just then the saxophone guy, who was me in disguise, burst inside with the gun that the sax hid. I said, your blackmailing days are through. He said, technologically that's true. No letter could arrive better than this black fax did. And so, rather timidly, I read the facsimile. And soon it was my goose that was cooking. It was a black and white photo of me alone, fucking my saxophone at a time when I thought no one was looking. So it seems I have failed, cause now I was blackmailed. And he took off with the dough in the sack. I had only a few clues and hints, a couple of fingerprints. Valencia left, and said she'd never come back. So I was still broken in debt, but I wasn't out of tricks yet, cause I found proof there'd be one more unmasking. Cause I'm really her and she's him, so it's obvious where I've been. And yeah, I made off with the cash. Thanks for asking.